All right, Broncos country, we have a real treat today because we have Garrett Bowles, Broncos, left tackle. And I am so excited to be speaking with you today. You're a good friend of mine, Garrett. Yes, we've been friends for quite a long time now, so I'm excited to help you out today. Great. All right. We're doing uh, challenges for Broncos Fit, and I thought it was a good idea to do this remotely from home because so many people are working out at home now, and squats are one of the harder things to do. You're going to show us uh, the right way to do them with equipment, and then if you don't have equipment. Yeah, for sure. So squat is one of my favorite exercises. Playing offensive linemen, you know, I got I to strengthen my legs on a regular basis just because I'm going against 300 plus pound linemen daily. So doing a little leg workout, um, not only does it flush your legs, but also increases the muscle mass in your legs to, to stop a bull rush and things like that. Or, you know, this will look good when you're going out on the belt. Yeah, absolutely. So I'm going to use my bar that I have at home. You usually go a lot heavier, uh, but we're going to keep it light today just to show form. So I'm going to take this overhead. What are we starting with? Absolutely. So you really want to, on a bar, you really want to put your hands about, you know, shoulder width apart. I think it's really important to do that just so that, you know, you're not too close um, so you can distribute the weight in between your body. And when you get under the bar, you really want to get under the bar and really have sort of a base. So you want to sort of tuck in your hips a little bit, really have um, your legs parallel. I like my legs about shoulder width apart and I like to bow my feet out just a tad bit so that I don't put too much tension on my knees because a lot of people say, that squatting can hurt your knees. That is a myth in my opinion. Um, and so you really want to just bow your feet out a little bit. So when you get on the bar, you want to sort of tighten your stomach um, and really grit down on the bar with your hands. So you want to pull sort of the bar into you, use your lats a little bit. And when you come up and you walk out, so the bar's underneath like that. So I always get ready, bow my feet out a little bit. And when you go to squat, a lot of people just like when you're sitting in the chair, that's not really what, what you want to do. You really want to sort of push your bum out. And when you push your bum out, your legs, your knees want to go first. You don't want to just fall down. You really want to use your knees first and then sit down into a chair so that you're parallel to the ground and then you can come up. So I'm going to do that one more time. You want to push your bum out. Let your knees go over the tip of your toes and then you sit into the chair so that you're parallel to the ground. Awesome. Um, so, so for people who don't have the bar at home, uh, take us through an air squat. Absolutely. So an air squat is actually a very good exercise if you don't, if you don't have um, a bar or something that you can do. Some people use dumbbells. Sorry, I'm out of breath right now. Um, <laughs> That's okay, keep going. <laughs> I'm just a little out of breath. Um, anyways, so you really just the same thing. You really just want to have, you know, keep your hands out in front. Um, I like to bow my feet a little bit. And you just want to sort of sit down and have your hands out like this, um, parallel, and then you come back up. So you can do a same motion as with the bar. You want your knees to go out over your toes, sit into the chair, arch your back a little bit, and uh, explode up. All right, I so like I, do... I wanna oh, ask sorry. you a question when it comes to um, working out and game day. How do workouts translate to game day? Um, how many workouts do you do a week? So I like to do, you know, between two and three workouts a week. Uh, you know, earlier in the season, I get a little bit heavier. And later in the season, I just keep the range of motion because everything's good. Working out is not just to increase muscle mass or to, um, you know, to get bigger and stronger. It's actually really a good way to maintain your body, uh, you know, get a healthy um, blood flow throughout your system to flush out any toxins or anything that's in your body. Um, it's a fat burner as well. So if you have a higher um, like heart rate, it also burns fat, it's, so it's a great cardio. I love the squat because it actually does everything. You know, it's healthy blood flow, fat burner and it just increases everything to your body so that when you're done squatting a lot of people feel you know very energetic um, feel good because it's sort of like a full body workout well one of these days we'll have to work out together obviously you'd kick my butt but you just signed a new contract you're going to be around for a while we're so happy a lot of people are going to be watching you on that field 
Uh, no, I'm excited to be here. I love this uh, Bronson country. I love the fan base here. So thank you so much. And uh, I'm always here to help you. All right. Thanks, Garrett. Thanks for helping us out with the Broncos Fit Challenges. Okay, Broncos country, you saw Garrett pulling off those squats. You can do it too. Grab a bar if you have it at home. Remember to go down and uh, keep that weight over the toes just a little bit and come up. And if you don't have the weight, just do air squats. It works just as well. Good luck with today's challenge and be sure to share your fitness journey on social media using hashtag BroncosFit for a chance to win Broncos prizes.